Miss Nan here, wishing we could all be together, but we can't. But I'm gonna show you how to make a, a Japanese flying fish kite. So what you're gonna have in your box for that is a piece of paper, Japanese rice paper, that is folded in half. You're gonna have a piece of spare paper that you can do tests on. You're gonna have a chenille strip and five feet of kite string. I know this doesn't look like five feet, but it is five feet and it's very thin and very strong, but it separates. So I have made a tiny little knot on each end of this so that it doesn't separate on you. The paper for this is to test your colors, your, your crayon, your markers, whatever. And you want to work on the, the rough side, not the smooth side, because that's the most absorbent. So if you're gonna test the color, you want to test the color there, a crayon, a marker, whatever you decide you want to use is just fine. You also need a pencil because you need to draw the picture of your kite on the paper. Be sure that the fold is the back of the fish. The fish is drawn on paper like here, and then you cut out the outline of this the tail is going to be kind of floppy, but do not cut across the fold here for the back of the fish. Make his nose a little bit longer than you would think that you need because you're gonna fold some of that down. Then you wanna cut out the fish. So here's the fish that's all cut out. What you wanna do is to um, get the colors, design this side. A lot of the colors, you can even lay it down and draw the other side so that you get both, both halves of it color and I'm not going to do that either because we don't want to waste the time then after it's all colored ready to go what you're going to do is fold down about a half inch of, of the paper and put a chenille strip in well wait a second I forgot to do something you fold that down you want to cut a little triangle don't cut it all the way to, to where you folded it you want it to to still have some shape there. So then what you do, and I'm going to tape this because you don't have time for the glue to, to set. Don't want to take time. So I'm gonna put a little bit of tape here. And I should have left the chenille in there Every once in a while, every once in a while. Should have left the chenille in there before I taped it. So you'll, you'll know not to do that. And just about the same amount sticking out each end. Then you wanna fold this over. This is all designed. Before you do anything else, you want to glue this. I'm not gonna take that time either because I don't want to uh, waste your time you glue that and it will dry once it's dry you take the two ends of the chenille strip twist them and then you shape the, the mouth which is a round circle then you take the string the kite string in here tie one end around the little piece that's up here tie it in a double triple knot whatever so it doesn't come in untied and I won't take the time to do that either. And then you take the other end and tie it to the chenille strip on the other end. Now you have, this is glued, you have the string tied, and you have this that you can hold on to. And when you can run in the wind, you only glue it, you leave the tail loose. You can run in the wind and it'll flip flop and and float all over the place and you'll just have a good time playing with it. Okay, have a good time. <laughs>